When a community is involved in economic development, it's important to remember the charm of small town living and the importance of being welcoming to newcomers. For Dick and Linda Wilcox, the concept of Hoosier hospitality has been more than just a slogan. And their business has brought another company with a global focus to Union City. Dick and Linda moved their business, Uniflex Relay Systems, in 2010 from Las Vegas. They could have lived anywhere, but they chose to live here. We lived in a gated community with eight-foot block walls around your yard. You didn't get to know your neighbors. You seldom even made eye contact with your neighbors. The traffic was really untenable, and the crime was very difficult to deal with. Dick has a unique skill set. He knows computers, he designs software and hardware, and he's a musician. We just needed a lot of space for Dick to test his ongoing improvements to the computerized organ relay system, and we needed a good post office. We ship to customers all over the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the Netherlands, and the UK. Dick was educated about computers by Honeywell in Boston after working on Cape Canaveral projects in the mid-1960s. He was also playing guitar in several rock and roll bands. He developed a way to combine his interest in computers and music when he founded Uniflex Relay Systems in 1979. Linda found this house listed for sale on the internet, and once they visited in person, Dick and Linda made the decision to relocate with their four dogs. There's some really beautiful homes in Union City. This one was built in 1927 and has some wonderful architectural features. They also needed a test facility with enough floor space to support Dick's various pipe organs. They thought about building an addition to their property, but found that it was more economical to buy an existing structure, the old fire station. They call it Firehouse Pipes. Dick has changed the traditional method of installing relays and playing in theater and church pipe organs using a PC system. His Uniflex hardware and software designs replace thousands of wires to connect the organ console to the control system and onto the pipes. The control system not only handles the organ's basic needs, it also includes functions for recording, playback, transposing, and piston sequencing. The whole system uses only three different types of boards, input boards, output boards, and an interface board. The whole system is defined in software using a very user-friendly editor that we have. I am continually making upgrades and updates, adding new features to the software. And if you have one of our systems, all the new software is always free for as long as the product is around. And we are uniquely flexible. My partner, Tim Rickman, passed away in December of 2008, very unexpectedly. We had to make a decision, Linda and I, do we abandon the whole project or do we learn how to build the boards, take care of the customers. And we decided that there were too many customers out there that would be hurt if we didn't at least give it our best shot to keep the company alive. One of the big problems that we experienced was not knowing who the customers were. And so we tried to get as creative as we could in finding the customers. What's on the horizon for Uniflex? We're always designing new features in the software. Uh, probably the one that has been most requested is the ability to use a standard iPhone or an iPad or even an iPod wirelessly to control the organ. It brings us to the point where we can generate an, a remote tuning device. Typically it takes two people to tune a pipe organ. What I have done is create an application that will allow them to take with just one person could go into the chambers select the pipes to be played on his iPhone wirelessly and those pipes will play until he needs to move on to the next one and so forth. In the meantime, Dick and Linda are enjoying life in Union City. A former court administrator in Las Vegas, Linda recently was elected city judge. I was not aware of how much paperwork was involved and how much financial responsibility was involved. But I've been working diligently to convert to the Odyssey case management system, which is a computerized case management system. The Wilcoxes have also given time to Union City's civic efforts, and they've hosted fundraisers for the Preservation Society. At the firehouse here, we host 
the annual masquerade ball. Typically, we'll get an organist to play a silent film. We show it up here on the 10-foot widescreen. Everybody has a good time. We have made more friends here in Union City than we could have ever imagined. Union City has been very, very good to us and very welcoming. Union City gained much more than another business. Dick and Linda brought civic leadership to this community. For Extraordinary Indiana, I'm Laura Sheets.